Alrighty, uh, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, we're all starting to get set up for my first pop with the West White Danglers. Uh, we're down at Tottenham, target species is a ray. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to uh, get a couple of fish. Uh, last number to be called, typically. So everyone else has picked their spots, but I think, to be honest, like everyone's saying, it's all pretty much the same along here. So, I'm super nervous, I've got to be honest properly papping it earlier uh, but yeah so I'm gonna get my rod set up got about half an hour still before it's kick off so I'll get set up and then uh, and then I'll bring you back all right let's have a quick uh, quick little show got my new tripod you see the sea's pretty bumpy so should be um, I think it was a good chance of catching a fish tonight right next to the pier uh, on one side I've got a uh, Portsmouth loop rig. Uh, I think I've got a size two on the bottom. Actually, no, it's a size one O on the bottom and a size two. And there we've got a uh, clip down with size twos, I think it is. <laughs> and then uh, I've got a spear rig there, which is hopefully going to be baited up, ready to get out. So uh, we've got half hour yet. So we're uh, all baited up, all cast out. Uh, chap next to me has just had a scaldy bass after about 10, 20 minutes. So it uh, looks like it could be a cool, cool little session. I'm still pretty nervous, if I'm honest. But um, it's starting to settle a bit now. Got some bait ready. Uh, got a couple of wraps with uh, sand in and squid. Uh, got some peeler crab as well. So uh, hopefully there might be a smooth out. But yeah, we'll see, man. A lot of wind and there's a lot of uh, swell, so it's bite detection is going to be a struggle, but we'll keep on it. out with a bit of a uh, bit of peeler crab so that's quite interesting it's the first time I've ever used it so we'll see and, uh, and I've lost top hook so that must have been some crabs taking a top hook straight off that last rig so uh, yeah mate it's it's exciting I'm enjoying this a lot so uh, yeah I just need a fish alrighty so just quickly we'll see where I'm sitting I've got a nice little nook here out of the wind uh, it's really smart because actually I've got my tripod set up this side of the road so the rods are actually going so cars driving underneath my line which I wouldn't be able to do if I didn't have this uh, new tripod so that's pretty cool hour in no bites baits getting stripped though so at least that's something uh, I've only just done my second cast so I must have left it for a good probably 40 minutes I suppose a lot longer than I thought it's going really quick so I need to be more aware checking the time uh, we still got like three hours till high tide so we've got plenty of time probably still got another hour of, you know sort of decent light um, so I'm not expecting much to happen although mate caught a schooly bass so uh, but yeah man I'm I'm well pumped I'm so on edge <laughs> But yeah, I'm just, I'll just keep looking at those rods and just waiting for one to go over. Uh, guys down here have been brilliant. Uh, straight away, helping me out where to go, how far to cast, what size hooks to use, you know, what bait they're using. 
um, which has been a great help for somebody like me who's not got that much experience. So yeah, so so far, so good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah, I just want to fish. Uh, but I've got, what's the time, eight o'clock. I've still got four hours of fishing. Uh, so there's loads of time. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say I'm sure it's gonna happen, but I'm feeling pretty confident. Uh, I've got loads of bait. I've never bought so much bait. I'm, a, I'm really tight, hence frugal. And uh, I've got peeler crabs, I've got sand eels. I've got rag and I've got squid um, but yeah Peter Crab never used that before so I'm hoping for a smooth down because they are about uh, but yeah hoping for anything really targets array um, but yeah my target is a fish to be honest if I catch a ray brilliant um, but yeah to, I just want to catch some fish I, I'm out fishing so whatever I catch I'm not fussed about you know um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll bring you back at some point. I'll, I'll show you some baiting up or something maybe. Um, go through some of my rigs that I'm using because I'm on the fourth different rig. Uh, I'm using three alternating again. Uh, but like I say, when I brought that one in, uh, one of the hooks is gone, um, which I think must have just been a crab. Um, but yeah, man, fingers crossed. Right, so just quickly, just in between the onslaught of, uh, of fish that I'm catching, uh, just got some bits and bobs at the ready, um, and I'm sort of fishing four rigs at the moment. Um, so I've got a, um, it's the first time I'm, I've used a uh, peeler, so basically I've just peeled it and bound it all together. Got some smaller, um, these are smaller little bits of uh, squid and uh, sand eel wraps which are ready to go on the bigger bigger bait um, you know the bigger rig which is targeting uh, well smooth downs and uh, rays really um, and then yeah I've got the, the, got the squid down there I can't see that I've got the squid down it looks really sunny on the camera it's really not and then I've got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of rag in there um, and basically these are the rigs I'm using at the moment. I'm alternating. So on one one of the rods uh, I'm using a, a Wessex rig with size fours uh, six ounce um, This one's ready to bait up so I can get it ready um, but uh, At the moment it's got a two hook size four clip down uh, And then on the other side I've got I'm using the up and over um, which has got, I believe, a size 2.0 and a size 1.0. And uh, yeah, I've got two of those which I'm alternating on the other side. Uh, but with any, any luck, hopefully, I'll be able to bring you back to a fish at some point. So it might not be next time, but at some point.
Yeah, there's a couple of uh, couple of bigger waves coming through. Man, it looks so light on the phone. It's stunning. But yeah, um, like I say, that last one did not come unclipped, which is really disappointing because you know it's been sat out there and it could have been the opportunity to catch that fish. But uh, anyway, I've, I've chucked another one out. It's on a Wessex, so there's no clips on it. Um, I am going to clip it down again. And if it doesn't come unclipped the next time, then I'm not going to use it. But we'll see. So it's all set up there, hanging, ready to go. But yeah, stunning. Like I say, the sky is amazing tonight. Just need a fish, man. Alrighty, so uh, hopefully you can see the rods there. I've tried to get a torch on it. Uh, it's now nine, so two hours in, and no bite still yet. Um, but it looks like a couple of guys down the, down the bottom there um, have caught, but we've got, there's three people down here and there's one weighing station for us. I think there's 12 people in total and a few weighing stations. So uh, we're not going to go, I'm not going to find out if people down the far end have caught anything until the end of the night. But light is starting to go, so uh, time for a quick bait change. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we are now at three hours in. And uh, still no fish, still only that one bass that I've seen come out. Uh, did look like somebody may have caught something further up, but uh, yeah, we've still got, still got three hours. Uh, and to be honest, it's not long been dark. I'd say it's about five to 10, so what's that, half an hour really? Um, so yeah, I'm really expecting something, even a dogfish or something like that. Maybe I'm <laughs> pouting. But yeah, we'll keep plugging away. Time for a quick bait change. Um, so yeah, hope, hopefully that will bring someone on. If you saw that I caught a fish. I totally forgot about coming to show it to the camera because I was so happy that I caught a fish in the competition. It's only a doggy, weighed it in one pound. So I've got something, so we're on the board. It's great. Uh, sand eel that was half a sand eel, tiny bit of sand eel. It'd only been out there for about two minutes, so 
but I'm going to get that baited up again, ready, so the next time I change it over I'm going with Sandy organ. I don't care man, I'm just going to keep scratching, you know. Yeah, I've got fish, I've got fish. <laughs> I'm, I'm so Uh, yeah, so I'm stoked, man. Um, yeah, one little dogfish so far. It's taken four hours. Um, like I said, I was on a little tiny bit of um, sand eel, size four hook. Um, so I'm nearly due for a bait change again. I've given it only like 15 minutes now in between changes. Uh, but yeah, a couple of chats down the line to get to the, you know, the other blokes. Obviously, nobody knows what's going on. But at the moment, it looks like it might be the only fish that's been caught. So, at the moment, uh, I'm in the lead. But there's still two hours to go. Could totally change. Everyone else can catch another two, three fish, and I'll catch nothing. So, uh, I've got to be honest. I'm really enjoying it. Great, uh, great group of lads. Um, everyone is really super, super nice, super friendly. Um, super relaxed There's nobody's taking it too seriously it's great um so yeah it's right up my street uh but yeah so far so good so hopefully like i said if i get another one i'll actually show it to you this time um because i totally forgot i was so buzzing because i caught a fish and got to take it over to somebody to weigh <laughs> yeah. yeah it was funny it was brilliant but anyway yeah i'll, uh, I'll keep going yeah i was just thinking that um that uh, dogfish came on a, um, it a Wessex rig, but that's my timer going now. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer actually, anyway. Um, but it had glowy beads on it, so I'm wondering if that's made a difference. Um, so I'm going to use both of the ones with glowy beads on, because nothing's touching the rag at all. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to um, get another one with glowy beads rigged up ready. And chain. So we've got two with sparkly bits. Right, I've come to a um, I think that's the last big bait I'm going to throw out. Because if there's not a lot being caught, I'll be better off trying to catch some small stuff uh, to try and make up the numbers. So I'm going to just keep firing out um, like two at flappers, Wessex rigs whatever I've got that have just got four rows on because nothing's touching the big stuff I mean, to be honest one of the rigs isn't working properly anyway
Oh, quick show. Hope you can see it. That's the third one now. I've got to go and wait in. So three in now. Three dogfish. Uh, so keen and excited now. I'm forgetting to put the grippers down on the lead. So I've got one floating around out there at the moment. Okay, I'll change it in 10-15 minutes, so you never know, it might work, it might pick up the fish, so... But yeah mate, buzzing! Three! Oh man, I'm missing bites left, right and centre now. Probably all dogfish, but I've missed three bites, like decent bites. I hopefully I've caught it. Let's check my rod again then. Um, yeah, so we've got literally half an hour, so I've set my timer for 10 minutes and, uh, and then that's going to be us done. Uh, but yeah, there's a few fish. Uh, I've had three doggies. Uh, I've lost probably three, um, but there's a few coming up now, so I don't I don't like my chances of being in the lead. If I am, then it's very much beginner's luck. But yeah, man, it's been real good fun, really good fun. Um, but yeah, so we've got half an hour, so never know, might might pull another one out. I've chucked some more crab and um, squid wrap in the hope that there might be a smooth hound, but I think everyone's had dogfish so far. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes and I'll bring you back. Uh, right, I've just got home. It's uh, like quarter past, quarter past one. Um, I'm super buzzing, super pumped. Um, I've just woke Daisy up um, because I won um, by two ounces. Uh, so yeah, I'm stoked, man. Um, the guys, all of the guys are, are wicked, really, really welcoming. Um, yeah, giving advice. Um, yeah, couldn't want for a better bunch of, bunch of blokes really, really, really great. So, um, so yeah, so I'm just super excited now for the, for the next one. Um, but yeah, just right place. I, th I think just happened to be in the right place. That was all. Um, but yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, um, so yeah, until the next one, um, if you like the video, then uh, don't forget to smash the like button. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, then uh, and you feel like subscribing, then please do so. Uh, but until next time, stay safe and I'll see you soon. <laughs>